he attacked Christians and all of Western civilization on Easter. We talked last week about how the Biden administration's Health and Human Services Agency was flying that crazy transgender extremist flag at their headquarters, which is right near our offices. And I haven't checked to see if other agencies were flying the flag as well. And we talked about that with you last week, you may recall. And then afterwards, it came out that President Biden issued an official proclamation designating Easter Sunday as, here it is, now therefore, I, Joseph Biden Jr., President of the United States of America, by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Constitution and laws of the United States, do hereby proclaim March 31st, 2024 as Trans Transgender Day of Visibility. I call upon all Americans to join us in lifting up the lives and voices of transgender people throughout our nation and to work toward eliminating violence and discrimination based on gender identity. Guess what March 31st was? Easter. Easter. And who do they say, who's at fault for misinterpreting that? Of course we are, right? Because everyone should know the Transgender Visibility Day is March 31st every day of the year, as opposed to it, it's a made up it's a made up designation. And rather than recognize that it's Easter Sunday, they proceeded to push it, and then issue further promotions of this extremist agenda on Easter. And then Biden was questioned about it, and he he made it seem like he hadn't he didn't know what. Well, like he was Joe Biden. I had a fun video we posted on Instagram about the questioning of him. Mr. President, what does Easter, what does Easter mean to you, sir? Sir, what does Easter mean to you? Time for forgiveness and people getting together and with a little love and no phonies. Be straight with people. And Mr. Speaker Johnson the other day said you, sir, Speaker Johnson said you betrayed the tenet of Easter by proclaiming Sunday, Easter Sunday as Transgender Day. He called it outrageous and abhorrent. What do you say to Speaker Johnson? He's thoroughly uninformed. Uninformed how? I didn't, I didn't do that. I didn't do that. I just read you what he did. He attacked Christians and all of Western civilization on Easter. I mean, his explanation of Easter, I'll leave that to you to decide whether that sounded normal to you or not. I mean, so what, did he do it or not? Or did someone else do it and sign, sign for him and tell him after the fact? That's what it seems like to me. But it just highlights the radical nature of this administration. And I'm not going to forget, this is what, so, this is, what is often frustrating to me, is that you have these wild abuses, right, and scandals, and the media has zero interest in uh, doing anything, you know, they will notice it and then move on as quickly as they possibly can. So we're supposed to forget that the President of the United States and his White House issued a proclamation that effectively attacked Christians on Easter, mocked their holiday by emphasizing this transgender visibility day. Well, I'm not going to forget it. And certainly Judicial Watch will continue our litigation related to this extremism. As I talked about last week, the HHS has been promoting males chest feeding, the part of this transgender extremist agenda. They want males to be able to, to pretend to breastfeed infants. Of course, that's not the way it works, right? I mean, just think of the abuse of infants that, that that entails. That's how crazed this is. So we're not gonna stop, but it's not getting better, folks. It's not a fun issue to talk about, but it's not getting better and we have to confront it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like our video down below.